enter, and I'm around the world with MS World. Here at the European Neurological Society meeting, we saw a poster that had to do with a medication called pegylated interferon beta-1a. Many people are familiar with the interferons. There's two types of interferon beta, beta-1a and 1b. Beta-1a is available as Avonex into the muscle or Rebif under the skin, and beta-1b is available under the skin as either beta-seron or Extavia. In the advanced trial, which we've discussed before and which I was an investigator of, we looked at a pegylated version of interferon beta-1a. What pegylation does is it allows a medication to last for longer, and it allows the interferon to last for longer. And the idea is that you can take it a lot less frequently. And so in the advanced trial, which was a two-year trial, what we looked at was people who got 125 micrograms of the pegylated interferon beta-1a under the skin every two weeks or every four weeks, or they got placebo, meaning that they didn't get the treatment for the first year. After the first year, all the people on placebo or on no interferon got re-randomized, so then they got placed either on the every two week or every four weeks. We've already discussed the exciting results, and the exciting results are that the medication worked both at every two weeks as well as every four weeks, although it did look more impressive when it was given more frequently at every two weeks under the skin. What was impressive for both the every two weeks and every four weeks was actually the 38% reduction in the progression of disability compared to not being on treatment for that first year. And that was impressive whether it was every two weeks or every four weeks. In the ATTAIN trial, which we discussed here at the European Neurological Society meeting, there was a sub-study. The ATTAIN trial is an extension study of the advanced trial. And what happened is people would continue when they were getting the pegylated interferon. In the eight-week sub-study, though, what we looked at was whether instead of patients having to inject the pre-filled syringe on their own, there was actually a disposable one-time use auto-inject device. And what we found is that actually it was well tolerated and people seemed to be able to use it without having any trouble. Which means that not only do we hope that this medication, which will probably be brand name Plegrity, not only do we hope that it will be available in 2014, it looks like that we'll also have a ready-to-use disposable auto-injector to make it even easier when you do take those injections, which will probably be every two weeks, although the jury is still out on whether it will be available as every four weeks as well. So I want you to stay tuned. You're going to hear more about this at Ectrams in October in Copenhagen, and you're going to hear more about it next year in 2014 at the various meetings that we attend. So thank you for joining us.